Hello and uh, welcome. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to use uh, the symbolic uh, uh, capabilities in MATLAB. So, uh, and we'll use as an example the simple RC circuit that we had uh, that I drew on the board at the end of the first class session. And uh, so the first thing you want to do is open up your MATLAB uh, program and um, and and we're going to use live script to do this I, I i like live script you don't have to use live script but it uh, has some features that i like and hopefully you'll uh like them as well so go up into the upper left hand corner and you click on live script and that will open up a uh, live script box and let me pull that here into the window and um live script is set up into sections so you can troubleshoot as you build your code or your program up section by section uh, and I'm going to use uh, commenting. A typical commenting in MATLAB is a uh, percentage symbol, and when it's green, that means this is a comment. So this is section one for the example. Um, this this example is pretty simple, so I'm not going to put too many sections in there. I won't need to. Uh, I'll put another section break in here. Um, and I'm going to start by uh, providing. Uh, values for the components and um, I'm just gonna come up with these let's say uh, we're gonna have the capacitor equal one microfarad and I'm over com uh, commenting and I think that's a good habit to get into is to comment your code as, as thoroughly as possible and let's put a one kilo ohm resistor in here and that's going to be in the units of ohms uh, and uh, the the way to use the the syntax for for using symbolics in MATLAB is sims and I'm going to define s as a symbolic variable and I'm going to also define t as a symbolic variable. S is going to be our Laplacian variable, t is going to be for time. Once we have that set, I can now, uh, if you recall, we use the voltage divider to uh, develop the equation for our transfer function, capital H. Capital H as a function of S is equal to uh, 1 over S times C. And use brackets as much as possible. Um, that way I don't have to think too much about the ordering of the operations and what takes precedence. Uh, and the total, so it's, it's the impedance of the capacitor all over the total impedance, which is R plus uh, 1 over SC. And I'm going to just uh, basically grab and copy and paste this and place it in there. You could, uh, maybe, I, I suppose I could have typed it out just as fast. And, um, and that's our transfer function. Now, if I just go up to here in this tab and say run section, it will run this section of uh, MATLAB code. If I want to run all, I can run all of it by typing run, but I'm just going to run the section because there's nothing in the first section. And right there you notice that the formatting isn't as uh, nice as we would like to see it. Uh, and so let me type this in and the uh, command is simplify. And if I type that in, and now we, I run the section again, you see it simplifies the equation, and it just makes it look a little better uh, than than um, just typing it in normally. Uh, from a from a working perspective, it doesn't matter too much. There will be times when you want to use the the command VPA, and that uh, creates variable precision because MATLAB is going to try to force it into using. Uh, uh, rational numbers whenever possible and sometimes that gets really cumbersome so so if you do VPA and let me do uh, let me put simplify in here I'm gonna cut and paste this into the simplify function call and we can de define how many uh, decimal points I'm gonna do three and again I'll run that section and you'll see the the, the difference really is that it created this into a decimal floated uh, format as opposed to trying to keep it as a rational number. 
Um, let's say, so with this simple RC circuit, I want to put a, a 5 volt step into it. And uh, the, uh, the Laplace transform of the step is 1 over S. So I'm going to create our input as a function of S. And I'm going to say that's equal to 5 times uh, 1 over s and the output then is um, Vn and I'm gonna copy the whole simplify portion um, you don't have to do it that way you could just type hs uh, but it'll just make things look a little nicer and uh, I'm gonna run this section again and there we get our, our output. Our output is 5,000 over s times the quantity s plus 1,000. If we wanted to see what our output would be in the time domain, uh, I'm going to use lowercase v. Keep in mind MATLAB is case sensitive. Uh, it's going to be a function of t. And we're going to, the function call is i Laplace, inverse Laplace, capital V O of s. And uh, I'm going to run that section. And there is our output. Uh, our output as a function t is 5 minus 5 times e to the minus 1000t. Uh, one thing you'll know, our time constant, which I could have calculated up here, tau, is equal to r times c, um, which is going to be 1 over 1000 and that should be a millisecond. If I run this, we'll see what our tau is. Yep, sh sure enough, it's one millisecond. And there's our output. Unfortunately, down here, as you see our output, it does not multiply by u of t. So, But when you are putting your answer down, make sure you write in times u of t. I'm going to save this. Uh, and uh, I'll save it as a name. Um, I'll put that over here. And I'll save that as... Uh, symbolic example, Sims example, and we'll come back. Uh, I'll finish this video up now, and uh, uh, I'll put a second video using the same example, and I'll show you how we can plot this output in the time domain. So, um, hope that helps on using symbolics. Again, uh, come check out the second video where we'll show how to, to plot V out in the time domain.